<laughs> Trashing Spice Merchant, Watchtower, Trade. All right, so you can get all the cards out. Spice Merchant and Trade. Trade's super good, by the way. I like that card. Village Lost City. That's the only one. Draw Watchtower Library Journeyman. Lots of options. Plus buy is spicy. And there's also Monument for Pale Opon. That's a good plus buy. Yeah, so we're building this engine. Uh, getting thin seems super important, so I'm definitely opening Spice Merchant. That's definitely happening. Do I get the dungeon with it? Or do I get something else, like a pawn? Um, Fool's Gold, are you good? Lost City's really good. Lost City's always really good. Hmm. The dungeon's gonna be a nice card. Does it support the Spice Merchant? I kind of like getting a silver. Maybe a pawn is better than a silver. I don't want to open uh, dungeon. Silver's terrible. Yeah, yellow equals purple. That's right. So do I get the pawn or do I get the silver? Yeah, the pawn's just not doing anything for me. Give me silver. I'll open Spice Merchant silver. I'm I not, disagree. I am not sure about how good Fool's Gold is going to be. You got Silver mm. Spice Merchant. Oh, you don't actually disagree. You were just trolling me. Oh, look, $4. That's great. Uh, hmm. What do I do about this? Dungeon, I think? Yeah, let's get the dungeon going. Mm. Dungeon or pawn? Yeah, uh, we'll get a, a dungeon. Let's do this. I don't want my spicy to miss the shuffle, and two fool's golds is just fine. And here I have to cycle. It's important. Okay, let's think. Uh, can I trade here? I mean, I can. I can trash an estate and a crapper and get silvers for them. Is that best? Other option, have a billion dollars and put one good card in my deck. I mean, to be honest, uh, the economy is really good. Getting the estates out is really good before I'm, like, totally thin. I decided I didn't want a second spice merchant, so, like, that early economy is going to be super great. I can discard Silver Crapper, play the Fool's Golds, and trade. I like it. I really do. Trade is so good. Trade is so, like, underrated. And this is really good. I'm doing it. Hashtag doing it. Oh, and this is a wonderful draw to have my dungeon out. Oh, yeah, this shuffle went very well. Hmm. I could trade again, get both estates out. Next turn, I'll Spice Merchant a Crapper. What are those four cards? Spice Merchant, Silver, Silver, and Crapper? I think. I thought I had more Crappers than this, but I won't complain. I guess I've trashed three of them. Yeah. Uh, no, whatever. I'm not... Oh, yeah, I've trashed one and turned it into a silver. Yeah, so I'll be fine. Let's do this. Yeah, let's trade these estates. It's so good. I'm going to need to put some plus buy in the deck, but right now with Spice Merchant, I don't feel that much pressure. Like this turn, I can I can take the Spice Merchant for plus buy. This is about as good of an opportunity as I'm going to get right now. So, like, getting a pawn seems super obvious. And then I guess I'm getting a lost city. Yeah. Oh, that's super great. Unless I want the fool's gold instead of the pawn. But I'm pretty sure I want the pawn. Yeah. And we need to, like, get as many lost cities as possible. 
So the way this is shaping up, um, how is it shaping up? I'm going to have a million dollars this turn, and I didn't find any of my plus buy. Wah. Um, I'll have a duration dungeon next turn. That's fine. So, I guess I just get a lost city, right? Yeah, it's sad that this happened, but I'll just get one lost city. You have four lost cities. That's a lot of lost cities. No. That's like less than half the pile we have here. You just Six, nine. Down. I could get two more if I don't do any weird shenanigans. Yeah. I could take card buy and then the money. Yeah, that's that's fine. This is what I want anyway for sure. And then I've got 15 16 Yeah. Okay, so you got two lost cities. I could get four of them. Which is fine. That's great. I probably want that. Um, and then what? Uh, another card, right? What's that other card gonna be? I need to figure out what my payload is. Am I going for monuments or just for fool's golds? I think it's important to put another plus buy card in my deck now, right? That's gonna accelerate my growth the most. So it's probably just double lost city and pawn. I have one two two crappers two crappers left in my deck before I have to start making some somewhat uncomfortable decisions with my spice merchant but maybe I'll have like enough buys to make use of my economy by then yeah monument just doesn't seem like even if I want to go for monument I still don't want to do it yet because pawn is a better card for my deck so we're just gonna do this we don't have to commit to a certain payload yet cards Yo, dog! I heard you like cards, so I put some I cards do. in your cards. That's why I got so many lost cities. So you could cards while you cards. Yeah. In any case, I, I mean, I guess, hmm, I guess the draw to X works okay with the monument payload, but man, lost city just doesn't feel good with that. I would still rather have journeyman, I guess. You can't really count on drawing more than three cards with a library, can you? Wife is home. I'm excited to see her hair. <laughs> I'm such a good husband. What do we do here? I want a third buy, fourth buy, probably. Oh yeah, you're short on money payload. You don't have any fool's golds. That's why you were drawing so much, because you have payload le less payload now. So I'm not I'm not all that behind. I just lost the lost city split. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Uh, that. Okay, this next. I think I can draw everything, can't I? Right, deck. Right. Right. Okay. I had to cycle with the spice merchant, but we're okay now. Okay, well, we got another pawn in the deck. We got a copper out. It's not the worst thing ever. 
What am I going to do now? A journeyman is nice. I probably want that. Uh, more pawns is probably important. Still have one crapper left. I would really like to draw more cards. Maybe two journeymen is okay. Two journeymen and a pawn, and then next turn I can have five buys, burgers and fries. Man, I'm hungry, and... Uh, <laughs> hey, don't say that. Now I'm hungry. Five buys, burgers and fries. Ha ha ha. No, it was more the I'm hungry part, but... Yeah, go go get her, Lexi. Uh, journeyman... Double journeyman and pawn is probably fine. And then I then I have options of like shoving a bunch of fool's golds in the deck next turn, or maybe something else. But that seems really good. That's like yeah, uh, the extra buy just doesn't seem important this turn, or does it? I can't translate it into a win two turns from now, so it just seems irrelevant. Let's just do this. Journeyman's gonna be really good card hi hi all right like you washed her. i did yeah she doesn't stink nearly as much all right get underneath this light i'm checking out your hair oh wow this looks way different it's like it's going to fade a little bit so they we purposely went a little redder than like what i actually want because red tends to fade but it's stripes well it's it's like low lights, yeah. I, I guess I didn't understand the meaning of the word low lights. Hmm. The cut looks good. And I like red things. <laughs> well, I do. Yeah, it's not like you really like it. I like it. I wasn't expecting stripes. That's weird. <laughs> I'm pleased that you went with something redder, though. Oh, you have four Fool's Golds now. I missed you buying Fool's Golds earlier. So that's a thing. Uh, let's do this. And uh, that. Okay, thanks, deck. Okay, I just draw everything now. Uh, so that happens, and then two of these are dollar buy, and I guess one's an action and a buy, or an action and a coin. So I've got um, two more dollars, four, 14, 19. The extra buy doesn't sound all that useful because I'm afraid of piles. So let's just, without thinking, get action, coin, and then dollar buy for these other guys. I said coin for some of them, and then dollar for other ones. Uh, it's uh, it's the same thing. You're correct. I think some people would argue that they're not dollars. <laughs> Great, uh, but they are. <laughs> I think I just get double fools gold, double province, threaten triple province next turn. It's a pretty good end game play, especially because it it makes you not want to get three provinces next turn, which you would kind of sort of like. Yeah, this just it seems very clear to do this. I need to score points. I want to increase yeah, okay, we're good. Uh the issue is uh I lose a silver, but I still threaten to triple province next turn. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. This is a really good play. And I'm overdrawing. those last cards in your hand All right. there's an estate and I have no idea what the other one is is it a 
No, thank you. Two of those. Might be a lost city. It is a lost city. You are correct. Uh... If he gets three provinces, I need four duchies. That's not going to... Well, five. I have four buys right now. I would need another buy. And I would need more money. Uh, one province. I lost one coin this turn. Or, well, let's see here. No, I'll have two less, because I'd have to trash a silver. What was I at? 23, 21. Uh... So I'd need two fool's golds and another buy to get to province and four duchies, so that can't happen. But province and three duchies could if I buy duchy fool's gold. Let's do that. Okay. So you're threatening 26 and four buys, I think. Okay. I think we name province here. Twenty one. Oh, very 20, good. I feel five. better now. So we draw everything now. Right. What what can I name here that's profitable? There's two pawns in there. There's no silvers. There's like two fools golds. Two fools golds. Two pawns. And a vowel, a dungeon. Well, the dungeon is not that great, I guess. Can I take these pawns for something other than dollars and be okay? I don't have to play the spice merchant, I guess. I mean, really, all I need to do is triple province, and I'm in okay shape. Then he needs province triple duchy, which he can do. But uh, that's not good. What are my other options, though? Like, I don't have them. I think I just have to play towards him stalling some. Either that, or I just get, like, a bunch of harems or something. Is that good? Maybe that's good. Oh. Huh. Maybe the harems are good. Get four harems? kind of like that. Then he threatens four harems and a fool's gold. And that would win. Is there something I can do that doesn't count on him stalling in order to win? Uh, well, that harem plan sounds interesting. <laughs> Three harems and a duchy. Does that increase my payload enough? Well, I mean, how many cards can I buy? Uh, well, in any case, uh, I definitely just do this. Then I play the dungeon and I draw everything else. So this is fine. And discard these guys. And then I there's like... There's no reason for me to, to trash a silver from my deck at this point. The buy is not important. I can just do this and see what numbers I get. So I have 25. I could get four harems. I could get three harems and a duchy. <sighs> Next turn, let's say nothing goes terribly wrong. Which, who are we kidding, it will. I'm a little short on draw at that point. But, in theory, I could have up to 31 in payload. So I, I threaten lots of cool, neat things. Three harems and a duchy. Let's say I give up a little bit of my treasure in order to reliably draw some more. I get the three harems and a duchy. And then if he triple provinces, then I'm tasked with province triple duchy, it looks like. Which is attainable. Okay, that seems fine. 
That seems better than anything else. Looks like we didn't go for monuments this game, huh? Mm, yeah, I guess not. I don't think I can buy five cards, so four harems should have been safe. Did you only have four buys in your deck? You have so. two pawns. Oh, gross. Well, the harem probably would have been better. Unless the point matters. Mm, how much was I going to have? Uh, I was going to have 23 minus 2. Uh, that is if I take four buys. Um, plus four. You, I mean, if you can't so, gain five cards on your turn, then... Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to think right now whether I need to uh, try to play this pawn for a coin or not. Um, so, 21 plus 4, 25. So if I play one pawn for not coin I can still have 24 but I can have 25 and 4 buys or 27 and 3 buys if I buy 3 provinces then you're up by 5 right now I'd be up by one and then twelve more minus six so seven you would need well yeah two duchies province two duchies two estates you can't yeah you can get five buys but you get four buys with more money so yeah it would be province triple duchy which you can do if you get your buys and everything Hmm. I think it's fine to do at least one of these without the coin so let's do that thank you Lost City okay there's one in there so I think I draw everything just by doing this I only skipped one fool's gold, yeah. Okay. Let's put the dungeon in play and discard some green. Do this for coin and buy. Alright. Now I have to do math. This is hard. Uh, five fool's golds is 16 and one is 17. So that's 18 plus 6 is oh yeah I don't yeah it was the same no matter what so 24 and I can have 3 or 4 buys either way 4 buys loses me some payload from next turn I could buy that fool's go gold though I could buy you do have five buys if you fully stretch harems would be 30 duchies would be cheaper if I knock them down I think I might just want the triple province and hope you can't get there might be my best shot anything else that I'm playing around gives you easier buyouts I think kinda depends on you getting all of your buys but so does the other thing no <laughs> That's a problem. I don't need these provinces. Uh, why 
can you find all your drawn? I can't, poopy face. Uh, I've got more lost cities, so. <laughs> Gross. Oh well. GG. GG. That's I sad. finally got one. I hate losing games like that, but whatever. That's what that game was going to come down to, so. Yeah. I wasn't on the good end of it. Oh, well, I got pretty lucky in some earlier games. I guess I deserved that. <sighs> you deserve everything you get. That's right. I mean